the spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. Excitement filled the empty space. The promise made was now a promise fulfilled. The rock appeared on the horizon and the boundless wander ended. Journey had met destination. And the vagabond son of the heavens became the mountain god. His heart skipped, his mind echoed with music. His breath caught when the daughter of Rhea stole his heart. And carved it with her name, Rhea Dana. Two became a pair, mates joined in happiness. Who willed to elevate Rhea's creatures? Her wisdom, three spirits were created to guard the eons. And they lived a thousand years in bliss. Until Rhea Dana bore him a daughter. The mountain god could not stand her as he envied the child. Furious, he raged at Rhea Dana. And she left him. He wore the grudge as if it were a crown, one made of corruption. Cursing the name of Rhea Dana's daughter, he descended into resentment. Thus was the truth revealed to the Bergsons and the origin of the corruption. Pity or anger, the Bergsons stood shocked, not knowing how to react to the story. The important thing, however, was to break the cycle of evil. But they still did not know what awaited the children of Mortar in the temple of a mountain god.
Their final destination was on the other side of that gate. The ending was nigh. territory, the domain of the corrupt deity of the mountain, is the final step. On the throne, the mountain god Ul himself, without Rhea Dana's love, the darkness had swollen inside him, consuming and uncontainable.
upon the throne the mighty. Heavy as iron and difficult to breathe in, the air burned their lungs. It was pitch black. The light meant protection and hope. And the Bergson had to rescue the others as well. Yeah! <laughs> 
yet another light fending off the darkness. For now, time was short and haste was needed. The final battle was nearing its end. The Bergsons knew that this was the final step. Love must prevail over hatred. <laughs> The Supreme One, master of all and master of nothing. His greatest fear was made absolute. He was left alone. Left alone to his misery and failure, to the unending cycle of despair and pain. He wished for its end, wished to bathe in an eternal darkness. Mercy prevailed as the wheel had turned back to kindness. That which was expelled from the heart returned. All the time apart melting away, along with all the pain, all the sadness, and all the misery. Land met sky, two became one. Love ignited rapture as innocence flooded the space between breaths. Happiness and curiosity weaved, mixed and tangled in a dance a millennium in coming. The one ascended, but will never leave. A family looked upon the mountain and land over which they were given ward. A family left exhausted was now more complete than before. A god once stricken with grief was now whole. And a land once cast into chaos is now left in serene balance. As the story comes to its conclusion, remember this. When the time spent in this land is looked back upon, when daring feats are recited along with victories and defeats, Remember that it was not a tale of heroes or villains, nor of good and evil, but one of family, and above all else, a tale of love. Go now, Guardian, and never forget. <laughs>